So what's this $16 Pikachu deck box and why is it so much more better than this $3 one? Let's find out. So let's get these open. All right, here's the $3 one and this one has no easy way to open, do you? Go, go, car keys, go, go. Okay, well, apparently this one's harder to open, so there you go. All right, there's gonna be some major, major differences with these two, and you'll see. You have to decide if it's worth it or not. So the $3 one, pretty standard, flimsy kind of deck box, has a divider, can be crushed pretty easily, so you have to be careful when you uh, throw it in your backpack. This one does not have a Velcro like a lot of ones do right there, but see, this thing's kinda, it works, flimsy, okay. So what's up with this one? Why $16? You're gonna notice it's a lot bigger. Is the storage size inside bigger? Well, let's see. All right, see this thing doesn't even wanna, wanna stand. This thing will stand nicely. And it looks like, yep, you can hold more cards. Is that needed for Pokemon? May or may not be, but you can store your deck, any sideboard cards if you have anything like that, any trade cards, anything else, all fit in here. So for the crushability, this thing, I'm squeezing on it almost as hard as I can. Uh, it's got like a leathery feel to it, a pleathery, if you will. It has a magnetic front on it, which you should be, let's see. Yep, you can hear it like that. That was it closing on its own. Right up against the microphone, sorry about that. The inside has a feltiness to it. All in all, it's just a very high quality deck box that you can basically throw into your backpack and it probably won't open. Let's see if I hit it against the table, will it open? Nope, if I fling it, ah, there we go. Okay, so it takes a lot of specific flick of the wrist going down to get this thing open. All right, there's, so there's a specific way. It will open in your, oh wait, there we go, in your backpack. So you might wanna put a rubber band around it still if you're just gonna toss an expensive deck in a backpack. What makes it so much better? Well, it's better protection. It does open easier compared to this. It'll stay open if you actually need it to, because you can just bend this like this. Uh, it won't stand on its own when you do that, apparently. These things are really high quality, and if you really want to make sure your deck is protected, that's why you'd pay $16. Is it really worth the extra $13? That's a complete call up to you. I think it is because these things are just super sweet, but, they have a hard time fitting inside of boxes. Do I have a long box around here? I might. You can probably fit these in a lot more small carrying cases than you can these. So there are some drawbacks to it. I think with literally a rubber band around this thing, just throw it in your backpack, call it a day. Just to make absolutely sure, because the magnet is really tough, but you still wouldn't want to risk it. Just like if these like, if you had one of these that had the Velcro sticker here and it lost the Velcro, you definitely wouldn't want to just toss that in your backpack. So it's not to talk bad about this, it's just what are the differences. It has a sweet leather feel, really thick, a nice inside, which would probably protect your cards more from bouncing around. Now, your cards might, let me just grab a stack of cards here, let's say these are sleeved cards and you have some extra room. They are going to bounce around a bit more, but if they are sleeved with any quality sleeve, you're not gonna have to worry about it unless you're literally punting this thing down the road. So it's thicker, it's definitely a lot heavier, much more higher quality, can fit some cards. I like it because like I said, you can fit your deck in here and even your some of your trade baits. So you don't even have to carry a binder. You can just put your cards in there, your higher end EXs that you would want to trade. And I think the Pikachu stencil is really sweet and the the embroidering around the edge. It's a, all in all a really I wouldn't want to say top of the line deck box because there are some really high end like handmade deck boxes. But for machine made and relatively cheap, this is going to be the way to go. The only problems I have with this is over time, this will rip and it'll start like if I go like this pretty harshly, you'll start to see more of it. This will start to rip. This will start to lose its uh, not elasticity, but you know, it'll just kind of flap around a lot more, but the magnet will always pretty much stay good on it. It's really about it. It'll get scuffed up. You probably, let me, as hard as I can, Ugh. literally as hard as I can, that's what it took to even dent this thing. Now, is it damaged? Sure, it is, but can it still work? Yep, because it pops right back into place. 
and pretty much holds its shape. If I squeeze this as hard as I can, you, you just heard it actually pop down here and split. So the deck box split. Better protection, a little bit more storage, and honestly, I think it just looks sweet. So this is what it is. Is it worth it? It's up to you. I think it is. But hey, I just wanted to let you know that there's some really super sweet high-end deck boxes out there by Ultra Pro. There's a couple other manufacturers that make uh, deck boxes just like this. They market it more towards Magic the Gathering, but I'll have to find some. I think it's Dex Protection that does it and show you those just so you have some more of a variety so you don't think this is the only one that you can go with.